What's up? Today I'm going to show you how I made this techno track. Literally from the ground up. This is a video where you will see my full process where I start from nothing. And I recommend you to open up your DAW right now and follow along so that you can learn the most from this video. And by the way, if you enjoyed this format, I'm hosting more in-depth track from scratch master classes on my Patreon page. So the link to it is in the video description. All right, so we have an empty project. I want to set the tempo to like 135, let's say. And today I'm feeling like making some dub techno, you know, making some ambient shit. So let's start with a simple kick. And you know, I want this kick to be really big, so I'm going to duplicate it straight away to create some sort of techno rumble. So obviously drown it in reverb, that's the first step. I turn down the stereo. Yeah, I'm also low passing the rumble. And yeah, very important to add a side chain to this whole thing. I'm going to send my techno rumble to a return track where I have a drum reverb. To add some, just a tiny bit of stereo to add some intricacy to the rumble, you know. Alright, let me group this together. This is the lows. Now for dub techno it's very characteristic to have uh, all sorts of minor chords being delayed all around your headphones. They're, they're very stereo and they're very ambient. So let's just choose a piano. Yeah, I think this one from Ableton works. I'm just going to add a chord device instead of drawing the chords in by hand. Plus three, plus seven intervals. Uh, that's a minor chord, obviously. And whenever I press one note, now I, it's going to be playing a chord instead. Which is pretty cool. Actually, maybe I could... Yeah, I added a plus 14 interval as well in there. Now this pattern, I, I think I want it to be short and sweet, you know. Just putting down some notes. And it wouldn't be dub techno if I didn't drown it in reverb and delay, so let's do that. I'm just gonna send the audio to one of my return tracks, which I have a reverb on there. A very long one. I'm gonna add a little delay now. Add an echo as well. Side chain it to the kick. We might work on this uh, kick rumble later on, but for now let's just keep building on, on top of this. Uh, yeah, so I like the piano preset, so let's duplicate it and maybe try a different uh, setting for it. Copy the chord device from it as well. I'm just going to add an echo here, but this time I'm going to unlink the left channel from the right channel and uh, offset it a bit. Make it more interesting. And you know what I'm feeling like right now? I'm feeling like some filter sweeps could be pretty good here. So I'm just adding an auto filter in bandpass mode, turning up the resonance on it and making it automatically filter itself. I'm just gonna put it before the echo. I could have it playing like every two bars or so, maybe. Yeah, we can have the sidechain here as well. 
You know, these two mid elements, I think they could be like a basis for our track, but for now, uh, let's just group them. But for now, I think that what I want to do is add some sort of periodic effects that are going to be coming in and out at like random moments to just really give even more of the atmosphere in, in this track. So I'm going to take a look in my Ableton packs um, because I think there's some pretty cool samples in there. Yeah, in the Mood Reel pack, there's very many cool samples that are very interesting. You can download it for free if you have Ableton Live Suite. You can download them like right here. So I'm going to add a drum rack in here. And I want to look for some kind of one shots in, in these samples. I'm looking for some one shots. Yeah, some Foley stuff uh, would be pretty good. I think that would work. So now I can drag all of this into our drum rack, like so. So now, as you can see, we have tons of these sounds, the, the random sounds. I, I'm not even sure which ones I dragged into here. But the, the point is that now we can add some sort of ambient reverb. Uh, I, I like using the stutter dub preset from the hybrid reverb because it makes everything just so much more ambient. I want to make this very unpredictable. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, go into my MIDI effects and add the random effect. So we have how many choices in here? We have uh, one, two, three, three and a half octaves basically. So we can turn up the choices to the maximum. And I'm just going to put a note uh, every, I don't know, three bars, for example, to, to make it really unpredictable. And I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle here. So now this MIDI effect, this, this random MIDI effect is going to randomly choose a note anywhere from 24 semitones up here to 24 semitones down here. So, so, so we have all of these samples that we can choose from, basically. So I'm just going to turn the chance up to like 99%. And now a random sample will play and every single time it will be different. You see? So, <laughs> that's very interesting. And I think this, this kind of ear candy will add a lot of depth to our track. So it's called the periodic effects. And now, you know, I'm not a fan anymore of this kick that we've created here, so I'm just going to switch it out for a simple 909. You can never go wrong with a 909, right? I might just saturate it a little bit to add some warmth to it. Let me just turn down the... Let me just shorten the 909 kick here. And, you know, I, I don't like this kick rumble. And I'm going to fill in the basic sub sign from Ableton. Just add a side chain to it. And now it's all about uh, picking a note or creating a pattern with it. Dub techno is uh, a bit more melodic, so in this case, it does matter what notes you use. So uh, as you can see, all of these notes are playing C, which means that the root note of the chords that they are playing is also C. So let's just say that we are in C to simplify all of it for now. So we can pretty much just play. We could uh, set the scale to C minor and see what other notes we could also introduce in here. I'm thinking that going for something simple this could work really well. Uh, maybe just make it a bit longer. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's pretty good. We can move on to creating the hi-hats, the drums. Let's pull up the 909 core kit here. I'm just gonna start simple like this. I'm 
going to send the hi-hat to a drum reverb on my return track, but I'm also going to add an echo to my hi-hat. Out of the drum bass on there as well. All right, now I'm going to try and add a ride in here as well. We're going really quickly here. I just duplicated the 909 core kit channel. So if I'm going to be honest, that was kind of a watered down version of my creative process. And if you want to see my full unfiltered start to finish track from scratch masterclass, you're very welcome to visit my Patreon page. That's where I offer just that. And I'm sure you'll love it if you found any value from this video. So you can click right here to get it or also visit the link in the video description. That's where you'll find it. So cheers until then.